What's up, everybody? It's your pal Baruch again. Uh, so it's been a few days since we've actually touched Planet Coaster, um, so I thought I'd get right back into that. Um, did a little bit of messing around with Overcooked from my buddy Tylen, so uh, please be sure to take the take a look at those um, whenever you like. Um, so I took a few days off to kind of consider what I wanted to do next, um, because kind of going into this. Um, scenario without a clear direction um, so one of the things I was thinking about was you know what makes a theme park successful uh, what makes a theme park like Disney really um, scratch the itch uh, if you will and I did a little bit of um, reading um, months ago um, is basically this book called Keys to the Kingdom, and a lot of what goes on behind the scenes at Disney is what enriches the uh, experience of the guest. Um, there was also another uh, really cool uh, set of uh, Imagineering um, booklets that talked a lot about layouts of parks, and one thing that really stood out to me is that parks, um, like the Disney parks, always seem to have one sort of centralized uh, hub and it was explained that these hubs are important because they enable the guests to have a frame of reference when they're in the park uh, so if you think of a magic kingdom you have um, you have a castle um, so I was like you know that'd be kind of a nice uh, thing to add to my park so I want to go in here to a more centralized part of the map and create Eh, maybe like around right here and make a hub and so I was thinking well what kind of hub do I want and looking around at the train we're in the midst of mountains so it kind of makes sense to make this I don't know maybe a little bit of a mountain with a, with a lake uh, at the foot of the mountain so uh, this will actually be great to talk about terrain and just the ease of access to the terrain builder that uh, Frontiers built into this game. So let's let's get to it. First I'm going to go to sculpting and select the push button. So as you can see once you've selected an option you get this little reticle that shows you the amount of land that you'll be influencing. Now just like with the paths you can increase the, you can increase uh, the size of, uh, of your influence. So I can um, go over here and toggle it to make my reticle bigger, or I could toggle to make it even, make it smaller. So I'm actually going to get a big area over here and just start making a big hole. I'll zoom in a little bit. And just start kind of painting across the landscape. It's a really pretty sunset. And just like that, it's nighttime. <laughs> and it's daytime. Alright. Don't want to get it too deep. This terrain actually reminds me a lot um, of not just like mountain ranges in Alaska, but I uh, spent a little bit of time in Japan, and I was in a more rural part, but they also had lots of mountains and snow, so this is kind of a nice homage to places like that. Very scenic. So I'm going to expand the lake just a little bit more this way. It doesn't have to be symmetrical or even by any means, just whatever, whatever floats your boat, really. But most formations like lakes are kind of carved by water anyway, 
so it's not going to be all that even. Alright, so I got a hole. Looks a little nasty, but we'll fill that with water and we'll see what it looks like. Now, one of the tabs um, is a water tab, and you have all these different kinds of options. You have you can put in dirty water, standing water, rough, or calm water. Um, and I think on a day like today, it makes most sense to have calm water. So I'm gonna start working on that. All right. So just like that, boom! You got a you got a nice little uh lake area. So eventually what's going to happen is there will be a path that will just go all around this, the perimeter of this lake. And probably I could also envision having a path that goes across the lake. Um, because right here is going to be where the mountain is. So again, we can change our size here and the intensity that we want to go. And because we're doing a mountain, I, I want it to be very intense and very parent that this is this is a place that you want to go to So right now it looks like a little, little mound of a bit of rock, but we're going to keep it going and see how high we can get it. One of the cool things that I love about terrain in general is the shadow effects. Um, of course, this isn't unique to this game, but just the contrast and shadow, depending on where the sun is, um, it really paints almost like a different picture every day, it seems. Push that down a little bit. I don't want that to really. Be too intense. Yeah, there we go. By pushing in, um, you get more of a jagged look instead of that round bulb um, that doesn't s really make much sense. Um, but it's kind of cool because see the reticle just 
it it's literally is a paintbrush. So if you're on the side like this, it'll push into the side, um, but then you could also come in on top and push it down. So that's all I'm really doing here. Probably push this down a little bit too. Push this down a little bit. Put that. Push that down a little bit. Okay. All right. Get the rock face coming in a little bit. I really like how this environment um, still keeps the snow. Uh, I think that's a nice little little touch. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on some paths. So if I recall correctly, it was, yeah, it was that one. And was it that link? we go through and make these paths, remember it's always a good idea once you've made your path to fill it in with trash bins and benches. Um, otherwise you'll run into issues like you saw earlier with the trash. And a clean park means happier guests. Now an interesting here, see I'm starting to build on this little crevice right here and that'll have a little bit of impact on our guests as they walk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and flatten that. Terrain. Actually did actually not doing what I intended it for it to do, but I do like having this kind of dug in section, so I, I think I might keep that. Of course, when you have an environment like this, you gotta have trees. <laughs>
So we've got a few trees there. We'll continue working on this on the next episode. Um, so if you like what you saw, please uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video.